but I'm all packed up. I gotta go. Yeah, you had to get up out of bed just so you could see me off. Yeah. I will be back. Today is Sunday. I'll be back Friday. Okay. Love you. You too. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. By the way, hello everyone, and welcome to Sunday. Today, I am driving down to visit a meal, which many of you had probably guessed. I visited a meal with Chugga Conroy uh, on Stephen Vlog many times before. Uh, but I'm not just visiting a meal. I'll also be visiting. Proton John and Nintendo Capri Sun, the Runaway Guys, and the reason for that is I am recording with the Runaway Guys, which is exciting, uh, very, very exciting. I've never done that before, and it should be a good time. I'm going to be down uh, staying in the male's house with everyone for an entire week to take care of a game. I don't think I can tell you the game yet. Um, I, haven't, we, I haven't really talked about it with the male, how I'm going to handle revealing the game, um, so we may try and keep it a secret on the vlog. We may reveal it. Um, personally, I hope that we show what we're playing. I hope he's okay with that just because of the setup involved. And I think it's I think it'd be really interesting to show that. But I'll talk to him and see what he says. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be recording every, every day. Um, heading down there today, which is Sunday, and then driving back on Friday. Um, we should, well, I think we'll be recording in the day and then at night we'll probably play games. Emil has expressed interest in trying D&D. And since I just started DMing, um, I was like, oh, this is convenient because I have all the tools necessary and I've been, you know, practicing a particular campaign. So, yeah, I can I can run one for us. So that's where I'm on my way to now. Uh, it's about a five-hour drive, maybe five and a half hours. So it's quite a ways, but uh, in time... I will get there, and uh, I got enough sleep. I got I get to bed a little late, um, but I still got adequate sleep for driving, so I think it's gonna be a good day. I beat Emil and everyone here. Uh, we're meeting at the Chili's because it's lunchtime, but they should be here in just a minute or so. You made it! Good job. You were going the wrong way. How could you pick the place with alcohol? <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, great. It's been a while. Also, when did you guys get in town? Because I don't know how long you've been here. Like, well, he's been here for a couple of years. So okay, that makes he's sense. He's got a lead on us. So. Yeah. Uh, I got in Thursday. Okay, so you guys have been here a few days. Yeah. All right, cool. This is a nice place. It is. Yeah. Not, not. I don't mean Chili's. I mean like this area. Uh, I haven't I been thought, to this. I thought you meant. <laughs> I actually did think you meant Chili's. Not Chili's. Things have changed since May. Uh, you've been working on your home and it's coming along and we just walked in and he's going to show us what's <laughs> he, changed. He asked, he asked. <laughs> yes, and I want to see it. And I know you guys do too. So what's in this room? Okay. This was the game room, right? Yeah. And it, is it still the game room? Yes. Tim threw me off. <laughs> was like, Tim's anymore. stuff is in here, so. I like this table. That's amazing. Is that an official piece it's of? It's not official, no. Okay. That's really cool. That's amazing. I haven't seen anything like that before. Yeah. So you have Secret of Mana framed? It's oh, his. Oh, no, that's mine. I oh. Yeah, some of his stuff is in here. Oh, okay. The cat's mine, though. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, hey, buddy. Are... This but looks yeah. nice. It's, it's, it's very organized now. Thanks. I have a CRT and everything. Assert. Assert. There are less boxes. <laughs> Last time we were here, there were boxes everywhere. Boxes everywhere. The coffee table's new, and this yeah. thing is new. Yeah. This thing is huge. Yeah. Wow. It's the largest version awesome. of figures there is. Did you used to have Ganondorf out here? It was uh, Midna. Midna, okay. Yeah, at the uh, apartment. That's right. Yeah. Very cool. And there was, was there a table or something back here? The kit, no, the, the kitchen's still like an absolute mess. I didn't have time to like clean it before I should. Okay. I didn't know if there was something over there before and I forgot. Yeah. Oh, okay. I knew something was back there. still needs a lot of work, though. I have Ganondorf up on an art pedestal, though. <laughs> he's, so. like, he's like watching over the room. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's like, I am judging your messy room. Uh, I can't turn on the light, unfortunately, because the thing's out. Oh, okay. I had a short. So I can turn this on, maybe. Anything major change? Did you have by the... Your leg. Did you have the cat tree? Hi, buddy. No, by your other leg. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Beep, beep. That's a giant Pikachu. Yep. <laughs> Where did that come from? PokemonCenter.com. <laughs> That's amazing. It rem it that. reminds me of um, those giant Mr. Saturns. Oh, but, but a Pikachu. 
Like, why is, like, every, like, Mr. Saturn plush ever only released in Japan and cost, like, five billion dollars because they only give them away in contests or in arcades? It's just like, let me purchase them! Well, at, for what- the- the giant Mr. Saturns, they did sell, yeah. but they sold- they sold them very quickly, like, many years ago, yeah. so now they're hard to get a hold of. Yeah, you won't find them. Cool. Did you ever do anything with your closet? Uh, yes. So this is a lot more, guys. I have a mini fridge in here now. Oh, you- <laughs> I remember I had suggested a, a billiards table. A billiards table with it. But a mini, mini fridge works too. Yeah, I got water in there, just healthy stuff. So if I'm like thirsty or something and it's like I wait at night and I don't want to go, you know, downstairs. It's convenient. Yeah, that float head's on the floor. Viewer gave me that. Kirby. Kirby wants to eat Lotad. This is the street oh, pasture, Ryan. Uh. Oh, yeah, that wasn't here last time, was it? Man, that's a thing. Yeah, this is the street pasture, Ryan. This is also like a street pass relay point I'm building. They'll be like, did you find the cause of the fire? Uh, yeah, there was a bunch of melted 3DSs uh, together. It was really <laughs> odd. It seemed to be the- They come out of it like as a mutant, like all of them melted together into like one like humanoid. Someone should draw a transformer that's made entirely out of 3DSs. That'd be fun. <laughs> okay. okay. And the recording room has got stuff all over the place. As it probably should. Yes. What the heck is this? This is a love sack. It's a big bag <laughs> chair. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. You want to take a sit? I think your room has a, a has a tumor. <laughs> um. You want to sit down? Yeah, I promise you, it won't eat you. Awesome. Uh, wow, Kirby, you are really all out with these plushes today. Man, um, that's sit, so sit big. Sit it. Go on, do it. It's a three seater. <laughs> I'm gonna take my keys off, lest I accidentally puncture it or something. Go! Isn't that good? It is very comfortable. Yeah, it's, see? It's huge. You're like making fun of me though, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it's eating him! It's very hard to get out of, but it's very easy to get into. Yeah. She knows that struggle all too well. Shut up. Well, this is... This is nice. You've done a lot. You've made a lot of progress. And I remember one of the big things when I was here last time was that there was, you guys were still unpacking. Yeah. So there was like boxes everywhere. There's still some provisional stuff like a TV sitting on top of a box and stuff. But and I mean, just getting rid of the boxes makes a huge difference. So yeah. Cool. Your place is nice. Thank you. And you've done a good job with it. <laughs> Thank you. We're doing chair testing chair because testing. we. You needed an extra chair anyway for recording, but yes. we're gonna get some chairs for to go downstairs because Mid doesn't have chairs downstairs. Do you like that one? There's you're gonna hate that one. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, this is this is yeah. That one easy. This is comfortable. Which is really odd because it looks. It looks cheap. Flimsy. It looks yeah, it does. Let me sit in that one. Okay, we'll switch. Okay. No meal, mine. Oh man, yeah. Have to... Musical chairs. Yeah, okay, that's really nice. They're the same price too. Yeah, okay, well, now we know. No, it's just gonna be a controller. Bummer. Oh. Yeah, it would be displaying that if it was. So it's not gonna work? It just says Game Boy Player. So it'll work as a controller, but it won't work as a cheat screen. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna quickly explain what the heck is going on. We're we're getting ready to record Four Swords Adventures. Um, and this is the most convoluted setup for any let's play period. Period. There's no other there's no other let's play that you could possibly do that would be as hard to record as this. Um, because in order to do it you need five consoles. Uh, you need five consoles, you need five capture devices. Um, you have to have at least four GameCubes because they have the GBA players that you can use to actually capture to a separate capture device that person's GBA screen. And then Emil was using a Nintendo Wii to feed all of those into it. So, long story short, it's hard. Um, we've got, we've each got, the four of us have laptops, right? And our laptops are yes. recording our and GBA I screens. A, I have a spare capture card, a sixth capture card, and I have a spare fifth laptop in case anything fails. So that's your laptop, John's laptop, mine, and Tim's, and they're each recording our respective GameCubes, which are hooked up to the Wii, to play Four Swords. Normally when you play Four Swords, you'd hook up your, your Game Boy Advance. But instead, you can hook that cable up to the Game Boy Advance player and treat your GameCube like a Game Boy Advance, which means that your GameCube can output video, which you can plug into a capture device. 
This is really convoluted. It is by far the most complicated setup for anything I've ever had to put together. But right now it's working? It is. Right? Yeah. Everything's working? Everything is currently functioning. Emil, not Emil even has these, uh, which are feeding the GameCubes. So you can just look at this instead of having to play with a Game Boy Advance. Uh, you, can, you can play with a GameCube controller. And John's idea was to hook up a Game Boy Advance into the GameCube slot one. And it does function as a controller, but it doesn't function as a screen, which no, is what the idea was. Unless there's a button that I can press or a press switch to it, it does not look like it. This ain't a Wii U gamepad. But still. It was a good it was a good try. It was a good try. And everything seems to be functional. So I guess we should do a little test to make sure it's gonna work, but otherwise it looks like it's gonna work. We just finished doing a test. We played about 20 minutes or so and made sure everything was working. And um, I wanted to get things a little more organized because it was bothering me like crazy. Um, and I think everyone can attest to that. So I brought in a table that Emil had. We have all of the GameCubes and the audio interface on top. And then Tim, John, and I have our laptops down there on top of cardboard because we don't want it to overheat, as per your suggestion. Well, I just didn't want the carpet to like become an issue. Yes, which I didn't think about, so I appreciate it. Um, and then that's all hooked up. This is hooked up and we've We've tried to do as the best job we could with getting rid of a lot of the wires, and I think everything is fine. Um, all of our recordings were successful. We sent them over to Emil. He's going to double check to make sure everything's fine. But all of the stuff recorded, and if it looks good and the test is good, then tomorrow we will start the entire Let's Play. So things are working, and that's exciting because this is extremely hard to set up and took so many cables. So many cables that we resorted to winding them around this table leg, which is probably not the best idea, but doggone it, they were in the floor. It's late, but fortunately there's, what's this place? Smoky Bones. Smoky Bones. We've been here and I should, I should remember these things. There's the bones right there. I really wish there was a big one of those up there, that would make my night. They're closed! All right, let's go. All right, good job. Yeah, we ate. You know what? We finally found a restaurant open and it was Steak and Shake. And I think I speak on behalf of everyone that it was one of the best decisions that we have ever made in our entire lives. Just, just straight up, this was a great decision eating at Steak and Shake at 12.30. That was John's first experience at a Steak and Shake. And one, and one, that, he, one that he'll cherish forever. Oh my God. You know, instead of, oh. instead of recapping that entire experience, why don't everyone choose two words to describe it? Emil? You suck. <laughs> John? Okay, no, I'll think about it. <laughs> You'll think about it. Huh? Uh, mayo and mustard. I ordered a hot dog with no mustard. I instead got a hot dog with a lot of mustard <laughs> and some mayo. <laughs> um, it I was so much fun watching you eat that. You have no idea. I got two bites in, hit by so much mustard that I could not taste anything for the rest of the hot dog. I'm not even convinced I ate food. Good words, good words, good words. Masay? Nugget much. Nugget much? <laughs> I did not take that bite. Just saying. It came to me like that. That's good. That's good. Tim? Burger butt. <laughs> Burger butt? <laughs> That's fair. Uh, yeah. I'll give him one thing. The milkshakes were really good. They were. They were. They were. It is in the title. When we went in, we were sat. And then no one came back. No, you left at the part where we originally got sat down and then the manager yelled at her saying, Okay, yeah. Hey, that true. section is closed. You go over there. <laughs> yeah, the, the section that we were in, we weren't supposed to sit in because the manager was like, don't seat them there. So then- And that was after we'd already sat down. We only had our menus out. So the lady moved us to the other side of the restaurant and then never came back. And, and I, I think, think she, left. she left. I watched her leave. I yeah, we actually watched her leave. And no one ever came to check on us, and it was like 15 minutes. And As I, you walked up to talk to the manager, be like, "Where did we get service?" Someone walked up and asked if we had been served. Yeah, and we're like, no, we actually haven't ordered. We also don't have <laughs> drinks. So yeah, that was um, that was an experience. That was an experience. I'm glad you got to go to a steak and shake. I, I, They're actually not all like that. That's I, not I, only I hard to believe. That's not only the worst steak and shake I've ever been to. That's like one of the worst restaurants. That's right, buddy. You he you scratch that. He you, said well. Do it. Do it. Yeah, you got it. Destroy it. <laughs> anyway, after um after our dinner, which was 
very eventful experience. Uh, I came back here, we're getting uh, wound down for bed, and I broke out all the D&D &D stuff, and uh, John and Say are taking a peek at it. We'll probably play maybe tomorrow. We got a big day tomorrow for recording, but... Did you guys decide what you're interested in playing? I know what I'm interested in, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get beamed to the bunch. I'm interested in playing as the rogue. Okay. Yeah. What's your second choice? Do you have a second choice? I'll have to look over the other ones, but it'll probably end up being the folk hero. But I, I'd rather play the rogue. <laughs> Is cleric number five on both of your lists? Like, no one wants to be the cleric. Cleric's probably number four. <laughs> okay, so not no, dead last. That's I'm good. Probably, I'm cleric. I'm not. I'm gonna say, no. who's your number one pick? Uh, the classic fighter, the noble. Okay. So I can beat people up. With the great axe. Mm -hmm. And be the only person at the table that rolls a d12. Yeah, <laughs> and intimidate everyone and persuade everyone to do it. Wow, they really, these characters are really written to us. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Well, good. Oh we'll probably God. we'll probably play a little bit tomorrow. I just inflated the bed. Um, what time is it? Like 1:30, 1:45? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably almost two. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're gonna get to bed tomorrow. More stuff happens. Hey. You can end the vlog. Oh my god. Don't say it too loudly. He'll I jump can't. down here and, and, and run. If, I swear to god, if he like pokes his hand out. <laughs> okay, I get to end the vlog. Wow, I'm so excited. Let's meet back here tomorrow, shall we? Did I get it right? Yes. I, I did? Mean, I mean, you don't need the here, but that, oh. that's an okay. extra word and not a wrong word. Okay, and that that's is true. that is good. That is good. I'm one step ahead of a meal, or a billion steps ahead. I'm really feeling like I want to add like a picture of a mural, like come down and have him voice over, like <laughs> as you're doing the, the talking. Oh in the corner. <laughs> what did you say? We had these yesterday and they were good, but this looks fantastic. And I guess you don't really need a recipe for this, do you? I mean, it's just. I mean, it's grilled cheese with pesto, mozzarella, and mushrooms. I really need to play corrupt, but I don't have the land for it. I do have altars reap. And Alter's Reap is probably going to give me the necessary cards to actually do some stuff, so maybe I should, uh, maybe I should get on that.